here's a new Unity tool for you all. This allows you to create rooms really quickly. To set it up, go right click, small hedge, and go to Room Builder, and this will pop up. And you can see it comes with the parent, the master script, and you go down the ceiling, the floor, and all of the walls. But it's looking kind of bland right now. So I'm going to add some materials. Let's add the ceiling material, the floor material, and the wall material. So now it looks like this. Now to edit the room, I can just click one of the walls and we can drag it out, duplicate, and we can start creating our room. Of course, it's looking a little bit small, so I can increase the height a little bit. So now we get a bigger room and we can keep on expanding this out. And at any point, if we say, okay, I don't want this wall to be here, just press delete and it'll automatically fill it all in. And sometimes this will happen or overlap, just click again or click reconfigure and it will reconfigure everything again. So if you go down, you can see there's a few things here. There's the wall scale, and that is the texture scale, the floor texture scale, and the ceiling texture scale. So you can edit all that. And you've got a few buttons down here. The one I'll go to first is confirm. If I click confirm, then you can see it deletes all the scripts, and these simply just become meshes. So like for example, the floor, I can bring it down and then that's what the floor looks like. And at any point, if I want to edit it again, just click Room Builder, Add Component and go and click it again. And it adds everything again and go Reconfigure and it sets all the scales correctly. And now we can click our walls and then we can edit them again. The other things in the inspector is you can reset it. So if I reset, then it just resets it back to normal. Click Reconfigure and it does all the scaling again. I can also go Reset Inverted to kind of create a pillar. And these will become really useful. I'll show you a little application for it. So here I've got a square in the middle. Let's duplicate this and I'm going to reset it back to normal. So now I've got two room builders. I'm going to get this room builder and I'm going to extend it out a little bit. And just like that, we've created a room with a little pillar in the middle. And of course, if you want to edit the pillar, just click the walls in the pillar and then we can edit that really quickly. This could work quite well when making like a backrooms map, for example. You can do that very quickly. If you want to have a look at it, you can check it out on my Buy Me A Coffee page.